Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. I make new videos every single week on affordable beauty and fashion, so I hope you'll subscribe. Today's video, I am sharing my summer favorite makeup products. I don't love wearing makeup during the summer, but obviously I wear it still a few times a week. So these are my go-to staple products and I'll share why as far as like lightweight makeup days, a little heavier makeup days, etc. So I hope you guys like the video and let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, especially, I think I said it in a couple of videos ago, talking about just like how our summer has been really crazy. Uh, we were back in Michigan for a month and doing a lot of stuff where I just wasn't wanting to wear makeup. And honestly, even when we're in South Carolina, it's super hot and I don't like to wear makeup very often. And if I do, it's a very lightweight makeup. I believe I have a full makeup tutorial about my lightweight summer makeup. Um, I will link that here or down below for you guys. But this product has become such a favorite for this. It is the L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. Now, if you saw me review this product, you probably wouldn't think I would love it as much. Um, this was in my Foundation Friday series, which if you missed that, I reviewed, I believe, eight foundations for eight whole weeks and then did a foundation roundup at the end and told you my favorites. This product, when I reviewed it, I wore it completely differently than I do now. So back then, I applied it with a sponge. Now I love just scooping out a little bit of it and making it, or like putting it on my face and then just rubbing it in with my fingers. I'm in the shade Light 10. And it is so perfect. I had someone um, message me the other day and said, is this like the number seven, I think it's like Tinted Perfector or something. It is similar, but not really. Uh, that one is just kind of like a veil. It smooths the skin. It gives you a little bit of color. This one gives you a little bit more coverage. It's definitely a little bit more dewy. And it has like this balm texture. It's very hard to describe, but it is so good for lightweight makeup days. So I'll wear this on its own. I'll wear it with like a little bit of makeup. I'll wear it with, you know, a little bit more. But it's my favorite for when I'm like not wearing a ton of makeup and going to run errands and want to feel like I'm not wearing makeup at all. So on those days and just every day, I love, love, love this product from NYX. This is their Thicket Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara. I probably use this for the last, I don't even know, like four to six months. It has be become one of my absolute favorites and it's like a normal brow gel, right? But this is so much better because it has like these thickening fibers to it and it really does make your brows look nice and thick, holds them in place and gives them a great amount of color. I've been using the same tube for the whole time too. So it lasts forever. Um, I also obviously love wearing mascara on those really lightweight makeup days. And this one is the Maybelline Curl Brow curl bounce mascara i did review this on my channel as well and it is just so good i love the fact that it has kind of like a curved brush like this it really makes sure to get into all the little crevices i feel like it volumizes my lashes nicely especially when i use a lash primer which is every single time and it's become one of my absolute favorite mascaras this primer you guys if I am going to go out to dinner do something in the heat where I'm wearing a full face of makeup etc this primer is my all-time favorite this is the elf power grip primer this thing won't like obviously prevent you sweating or anything but it's really going to grip onto your makeup and it's going to make sure that it lasts and this really you can feel the gripping power of it um you just uh, put it on your hands and then I rub and then pat it into the skin because it it does feel kind of sticky like not in a bad way you can't feel it afterwards but when you first put it on you're like dang my makeup's really gonna stick to this and it works so so well this is my number one favorite primer I will definitely be wearing this for big events coming up I have a wedding to go to stuff like that this is this primer is a no-brainer for me and it's my absolute favorite. I don't wear a primer daily or when I wear makeup every single time. It's usually just for those times where I'm like, okay, I really need to make sure that my makeup is going to last long and that one is a must for me. Let's go back actually to no makeup makeup or lightweight makeup days. I also use this product on full makeup days, but 
I love to have like a flushed blush look, especially for those more no makeup makeup days. I feel like it makes you look awake, youthful, etc. And this is the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Turks and Caicos. I have mentioned this countless number of times, but you guys, it is so so good it's like a peachy pink blush it is so youthful in the sense of it just looks like you got a little bit of sun i just love the look of it i love bringing my blush especially this summer up onto my nose and like bringing it to in towards the face i'm doing a more heavy light colored blush and it just like pops and it makes you look like so sun kissed and i just i love it so much so that's my number one favorite blush shade honestly other than milani luminoso which i literally need a new one of these look at this you guys it's like down to the pan this is my other one that i use and even layer on top of the putty blush when i'm doing more you know heavy makeup days i love this one because it does have some shimmer in it it's a very similar color to the last one but it has the shimmer in it to again make you look very youthful and not wear a highlighter but have the glow you know what i'm saying another thing that i wear on like no makeup makeup days is this covergirl clean fresh tinted lip balm in the shade made for peach so this is what it looks like it obviously does not give you this much color because it's a tinted lip balm but that's kind of the shade that you get it's just very sheer and it is so beautiful i wear that almost daily because it's just so easy to throw on and give your lips a little bit of color again it makes you just feel a little bit more alive and i just i really love it on days when I'm like I want to wear a little something but I don't want to have like a full lipstick on because when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup I feel like doing a full lip looks really weird like if you're not glam and then you put a full lip on in my opinion it just looks a little strange this you guys is literally the best 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 product for summer I I can't you can't convince me otherwise this is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation with SPF 50 I'm in the shade Golden Ivory 20 and this is my go-to foundation in the summertime it gives you definitely a good a lot more coverage than this one does and it just it looks like skin, you guys. My favorite part about L'Oreal foundations, which you guys found out in the Foundation Friday series if you watched it, these foundations from L'Oreal look like skin. There's another one here that I haven't worn as much in the summertime just because I've been reaching for this one, but I know I'll be using this one more when it comes to fall. This is the L'Oreal Tree Match Nude Tinted Serum Foundation, or maybe not even foundation, tinted serum and in that foundation friday series this took the cake for me and i think it still does i just don't wear it as much because i'm not i haven't self tanned you guys in forever and that one's just a little bit darker so this is like the perfect shade for me when i'm at my natural tan state um this is just like the color i am in the summertime from getting a little bit of sun and this foundation you guys is so so nice it's lightweight it it's just it looks like skin you can apply it with your fingers apply it with a brush i prefer or a sponge i prefer to use it with my fingers or a sponge and it just goes on beautifully stays really long time and looks like skin and that's all i want in a foundation cicadas are going crazy all right now for bronzer you guys this bronzer i discovered this probably i don't even know june may something i don't know this is the CoverGirl uh, True Blend So Flush High Pigment Bronzer in the shade Sunset Glitz. Now I love this shade because it is, first of all, the perfect bronzer shade. It's like not too warm, not too cool, but it also has like, I don't want to say shimmer. It doesn't have shimmer, but it has like a hint of luminosity maybe to it. It just has like a little bit of a glow to it that... It just has a little bit of a glow to it that makes your skin look so healthy and beautiful in the summertime. I'm in love with it. Wet n Wild has some of my absolute favorite powders. Um, I love the Photo Focus Loose Finishing Powder. I think it's a finishing powder. And then I love the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. And this one I've become so loyal to because it is in a pan and it's so much easier to use than the other one i honestly haven't even touched the other one which I should probably pull that out especially for weddings it's really good for that but this 
this powder is just so, so good. It's lightweight. It doesn't look heavy. It just is so good. Obviously, you can tell I absolutely love it. I use it pretty much anytime I do my makeup. And of course, I just broke the little... I broke the thing. Oops. Um, that's how much I love this. And obviously I need to get a new one because it's almost gone. I honestly have gotten away from wearing highlighter. I know that sounds weird because I have highlighter on today, but I don't wear highlighter most times that I'm wearing makeup, but this is the Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter in the shade Twilight Gleam. And you guys, this is the most beautiful golden highlight. Um, I wore this definitely when I was in Nashville for a bachelorette party in June. It was Oh my gosh, so beautiful. It's like a golden highlight that just looks so pretty on the skin. It's not too dark for my skin tone, which sometimes golden highlights can be too dark when you like move, like obviously it reflects here, but when you move this way, it can look like a dark streak on your face. This one doesn't do that to me and I, I just love it so much if I am wearing highlighter. Okay, two lip products and then we are all done. One is the um, Essence Lipstick in the shade Freaky. I mentioned this in my nude lipstick video, I believe, and it is just so, so good. If I want a regular lipstick, that that's the one I use. I also really like the shade Loyal. They're just so perfect for nude shades. I, I love them so, so much if, for a regular lipstick. But if I want something that's more long lasting and a little bit deeper, oops, a little bit deeper than this is my go-to, especially for like dinner or night out or something like that. This is what I wear. This is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in the shade Peachy. I wouldn't say it's a peachy shade. I would say it's, it's not mauve, but it's like a deeper, I don't even know what shade to call it, like a nude berry or something. It's definitely a deeper nude, but it's perfect for you know, when you want a little bit more color on your lips and more staying power. So those are my favorite summer makeup products. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to go into the description box and click the link to the blog post so you can get links to every single product that I mentioned. I do that for pretty much every single video that I make. So you guys can always reference back to my website to access all the links to all the products that I'm talking about. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in a video very, very soon. Bye guys.